Hello. In this problem, we have a point with the coordinates 12 and negative 5 and an angle theta in standard position. We need to find sine of 2 theta, cosine of 2 theta and tangent of 2 theta. To find the values of these expressions, we will use the double angle formulas for sine, cosine and tangent. But first, let's review the definitions of trigonometric functions. So, if we have a point with the coordinates x and y, and if from this point we draw a perpendicular to the x-axis, then we will form a right triangle. In this triangle, the horizontal side is x, the vertical side is y, and the hypotenuse is r. Then sine of angle theta is defined as y over r, cosine of angle theta is x over r, and tangent of angle theta is y over x. In our problem, we have angle theta whose terminal side lies in quadrant 4. Then, if from the given point we will draw a perpendicular up to the x-axis, we will form a right triangle. And because we are in quadrant 4, x is positive, so x is 12, y is negative, so y is negative 5, and to find the hypotenuse, we will use the Pythagorean theorem. So, according to the Pythagorean theorem, the hypotenuse r equals square root of x squared plus y squared. Then r equals square root of 12 squared plus negative 5 squared. Then r equals square root of 144 plus 25, which makes square root of 169, and this equals 13. So now we can write that r equals 13. Now, according to the formulas on the right, we can write that sine of angle theta equals y over r, or negative 5 over 13. Cosine is x over r, so cosine of angle theta is 12 over 13. And tangent of angle theta is y over x, and that will be negative 5 over 12. So these are the values of sine, cosine, and tangent of angle theta. And now, using the double angle formulas, we will find sine of 2 theta, cosine of 2 theta, and tangent of 2 theta. The first formula is sine of 2 theta equals 2 sine of theta cosine of theta. In this formula, we will replace sine of theta with negative 5 over 13 and cosine of theta with 12 over 13. Then sine of 2 theta equals 2 times negative 5 over 13 times 12 over 13. Then all this equals negative 120 over 169. So this is the value of sine of 2 theta. Now let's evaluate cosine of 2 theta. The formula is cosine of 2 theta equals cosine squared of theta minus sine squared of theta. Then if we replace, we will have cosine of 2 theta equals 12 over 13 squared minus negative 5 over 13 squared. Then this equals 144 over 169 minus 25 over 169. Then 144 minus 25 is 119. So now we have 119 over 169. And this is the value of cosine of 2 theta. And now let's evaluate tangent of 2 theta. The formula is tangent of 2 theta equals 2 tangent of theta over 1 minus tangent squared of theta. 
In this formula, we will replace each tangent of theta with negative 5 over 12. So we will write that tangent of 2 theta equals 2 times negative 5 over 12 over 1 minus negative 5 over 12 all squared. Now in the numerator we will divide both 2 and 12 by 2 and now we will have negative 5 over 6 and in the denominator negative 5 over 12 squared is 25 over 144. So now we will have negative 5 over 6 in the numerator and 1 minus 25 over 144 in the denominator. Then if we write 1 as 144 over 144, then 144 minus 25 is 119. So now we will have negative 5 over 6 all divided by 119 over 144. And to continue with all the manual work, we will write this as negative 5 over 6 divided by 119 over 144. Then from here we can convert this division into multiplication by flipping the second fraction. Then here 144 divided by 6 is 24 and negative 5 times 24 is negative 120 all over 119. And this is the value of tangent of 2 theta. So we found the values of all these expressions using the double angle formulas. Another method of finding these values would be to find theta from any of these equations and then replacing theta into the expressions above. Thank you for watching the whole video.